So I do need to bring Irene back, or Irene Calderon from Summit Country Day School. If you could come back up, you are our third place winner. We do have something for you. And really tremendous, seventh grade, I believe, Irene, correct? So you have another year of eligibility should you win Summit's spelling bee again. And I think that is absolutely fantastic. So we'll look forward to seeing Irene once again next year. Congratulations, you did an amazing job, Irene. By the way, giving out awards today is our Vice President General Manager, Jeff Brogan. In second place, a guy that we have seen for so many years. I do have, Nico, come here. I gotta ask you a couple questions. Because you, how many years now, Nico? Three. Three, third year here, Nico Antonio Prentocito. Am I getting that right? Yeah. This is your eighth grade year, correct? Yeah. So this is it. Mm -hmm. Are you doing okay? Because you, you did a tremendous job. You're such a great speller. You're such a challenger here. Are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> and a man of few words. Congratulations on your second place win. Yeah. Let me get in the right place. I'm sure I've got all this. Okay. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome, she's wonderful, our champion who is Sheridan Hennessy, a fifth grader from Hyde Park School. Oh Congratulations, Sheridan. We we do have some things for you and some exciting prizes. From Merriam-Webster, we have a one-year subscription to Merriam-Webster Unabridged Online. And don't you worry, Mona's going to be over there handing all these things to Jeff to hand to you. It's a lot to carry, so we'll just kind of sh Oh, we've gone digital instead of the big That's wonderful. Good, because usually it's this everything. The Samuel Sh Lewis Sugarman Award, which is a 2017 United States Mint Proof set. We have from Encyclopedia Britannica, a one-year subscription to Britannica Online Premium. And of course, you are holding your trophy. And last but not least, folks, she will get an all an expenses paid trip to the 2017 Scripps National Spelling Bee in Washington, DC for you and one of your parents. Sheridan, how are you feeling right now? I'm feeling very happy because I was hoping that I would be the one who was being presented as the champion. And, I, and I'm glad I worked hard because I value hard work. <laughs> you clearly value hard work. And here's what I'm going to ask you to do. Let's, because everyone wants to see your face. So I'm going to ask you to put the, there you go, put it a little lower. Now, how do you study for this? How do you prepare? Um, well, I started by looking at the list, and then my parents would quiz me. And then I had this book of spelling bee tips and word lists that I would look over and then my parents would quiz me and my mom mostly quiz me and so that's that's how I would study. And we also listened to from that spelling book we also listened to a CD of a fictional character doing um, doing all the spelling bees and then I learned some words from that. That is tremendous. So I, what I'm hearing a lot of is mom and dad. So parents, where are you? Hey, standing up, congratulations. You deserve a lot of credit. You, don't you think your parents are pretty exceptional? Absolutely, they are, because they're very helpful and they always tell me I can do it. Yeah, and you know what? Yeah, you were always so confident. You mar marched right up to this microphone every time. You always seemed to seem so confident. Were you confident? Um, was I confident? Well, I think I, know, I do know, I knew, a lot of the words, and I was very nervous, but um, I would say I knew a lot of the words, so yeah. So there's something else that you always were too, and that was gracious to your competitors. You were always giving them high fives, congratulations, pats on the back, that's important to you. Um, yes, because I think it's good to cheer people on, even if they are your opponents, because they feel the same way you do if they get out and you're still going to be supportive. Well, it's pretty tremendous in fifth grade that she's already going to be headed to the Scripps National Spelling Bee. Thank you. One more question, if I could. What is, 
the best part, the most exciting part about heading to the B? The most exciting part, I like that the National Spelling Bee, probably the most exciting thing is that it's going to be very thrilling because my favorite thing about spelling bees is the excitement, even you know, nervousness that, um, that you might, like, are, am I going to win, am I going to lose? It's just nerve, nerve wracking, <laughs> but exciting. So that's probably my favorite thing about it. And I'm also going to be able to go to a beautiful place, Washington, D.C., so I'm excited about that. That is tremendous. You know, I got to tell you, you're going to have so much fun there. It's really a wonderful experience. I hope that you have a great time. And I'm sure you're going to get to studying right away. Your parents are going to be on that, aren't they? Yes, absolutely. Well, our hearty congratulations to you, Sheridan Hennessy from Hyde Park School. We are proud that you will re be representing WCPO 9 on your side at the Scripps National Spelling Bee. Let's get a round of applause, not just for her, but for